What's your biggest red flags? Living off his partner, don't have a car, don't have a job, broke, can't dress, don't have a gun. Wait, don't have, that's, wait, what do you mean I don't have a gun? <laughs> like Second Amendment, like who gonna protect me? <laughs> okay, and then I hate a man who know they work because that just is aggravating. <laughs> but I'm gonna stop there, so. I sentence you to 500 lashes. And she was doing so well in the beginning. You know, it's almost as if she was saying to herself, you know, I'm sounding a little bit too logical right now with everything I'm saying. I gotta add a little bit delusion. This ought to do it. See, this is why I don't be liking men, right? Because I start being nice to one guy. And then all of a sudden, I feel like he thinks that I'm a lame. Because I liked him back. And what the fuck was I supposed to do? Hey, how you doing? Is he like eight years old? Is he eight? Yeah. Is he yeah, I mean, I can't really. I don't. I'm not supposed to take kids that are below six, eight years old. Boy, he eight. Come on, please. I'm trying to take him to school. He's going to be late. He literally got to be in school in 10 minutes. Can you just please make an exception? My car's in the shop, and I can't take him to school. I mean, I don't want to get a ticket. You're not going to get a ticket. He's going to put on his seatbelt. Yeah, but he needs a car. Like a, no, he please. I nah. do it all the time. I've been doing it for nah, a while. Nah, nah, nah. I can't, I can't, I can't. I will tip you. Nah, I can't, I can't. So you're going to be late for school because you're going to get, you're not, I'm, I can't get a ticket. Four minutes away. I can't get a ticket. Because he don't have a, I can go get a, his car seat out my garage if you really need a car seat. Yeah, I need a car seat. Yeah. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. I really no, 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 please, I'm please. Sorry, I will tip you. I no, 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 it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. I don't want no, I don't want no complaint. You don't have any problems. I just really need to get him to school. This is going to be a third day being late, please. No, I can't, I can't, I can't. Yes. I can't. I'm telling you guys, it's hard to be. All right. Come on, like, why does that be so complicated? Nah, because I don't want no complaints. Well, I'm about to complain a lip right well, now. Well, that's, that's cool. Okay, cool. You know, I always find it strange why there are just some people who think that you should put yourself into a dangerous or unnecessary situation because of something they did. If he's going, if that kid is going to be late, he's going to be late because of a whole bunch of stuff that took place prior before he got into that car. And to expect this man to break the law because you're running short on time, I'm just like, what are you really thinking? Because yeah, you could say that. What are the chances between where he's at right now and getting the child to the destination that he's actually going to get pulled over? and they might be potentially low, but there's still that potential risk. And I'm pretty sure if he does get pulled over and gets a ticket, she's not gonna then feel obligated to pay that ticket off because it's not in her name. I love your son like, like he was my son. And today, I just felt like my whole life was ripped apart. Like you let people disrespect me. Not once have I disrespected you and ever since, I started expressing my feelings about how how I felt and how you made me feel. All of a sudden, I was the problem. I don't care about that. I just wanted you to see that you was hurting me. A few moments later. Come to find out, she was cheating on me the whole time. Now, I feel very weak for making this video. I was over here crying, really thinking I'm the problem, really thinking I'm this and that. She was calling me insecure about the guys she was hanging out with and the guys that was her friend. Come to find out, she was smashing one of her friend guys the whole time. I forgot how useless men are nowadays. I remember a couple weeks ago, um, my car wouldn't start and it was the most annoying thing ever because it was 3 a.m. We just got out of a party, like we're tired, just want to go home. My car wouldn't start. So naturally, I call every guy that I know that's in the greater Cincinnati area, right? Half of them were asleep, so I'm not mad at them. But of those that were awake, either they didn't have jumper cables or they didn't know what to do or they didn't know how to do it, blah, 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 blah. Now, I'm not one for gender roles, but come on now. Is this who we are? And maybe asking Kobe, what about your girlfriends? All my girlfriends were in the car. So I need the men that I know and they did not come through. And now I'm sick of men and these. Listen, if you can't laugh, at a clip like this then i don't know i just thought this was hilarious because what it really kind of shows you is just how there are still a lot of women out there who just don't get men they don't understand men they don't know how men think because 
understand this. The fact that she thinks she was going to just be able to hit up a random guy in her phone book, whether it was guys that she had placed in the friend zone and she was expecting to come to her rescue, or if it was guys who she had already let dig, decimate, dismantle, and destroy her guts in the past who she thought were going to come save her, that really doesn't matter. Because really, if a guy really cared enough, he would have found some way to get out there and help her out. It's Google nowadays, and you can YouTube anything, and everybody knows somebody who owns jumper cables. And really, the cold, harsh reality that she may not want to accept is that the men she's dealing with have already relegated her to a certain status of woman based on their interactions with her. And based on those interactions, she is not the kind of woman who they will get out the bed and go help out 4 a.m. in the morning on the side of the road. Another great question this person was asking if there is any time in which intentional weight loss is not fat phobic. I'm going to say 99.9% .9 of the times, if you are intentionally losing weight, it is fat phobic. I don't believe that there is any explanation for this right here. I mean, you can go all over the world and not see nothing as bad as this right here. I'm saying when you are intentionally exercising to lose weight, altering your diet to lose weight, doing any activity intentionally to lose weight is fat phobic. Cocaine is a hell of a drug because you are intentionally attempting to make your body smaller to fit into what narrative? The narrative that smaller is healthier, even though we've already discussed why that's not true. And I say that because as a personal trainer with a fat body, I know that movements impact people differently based on their body size, type, shape, mobility, a million things. Get some help. I'm just a little bit bothered by the simple fact that she up here calling herself a personal trainer. Listen, as someone who's worked over a decade in the fitness industry, if, if she thinks what she's talking about is true, then that's on her. And while I guess she doesn't understand the logic that you can be smaller and be unhealthy, but when you're overweight and unhealthy, you're pretty much increasing your odds of winning the debilitating deadly disease lottery and how carrying unnecessary extra weight can pretty much affect your hormones, your metabolism, your cardiovascular system, your joints, and pretty much you're putting your body in a position to have to work harder on things that it should not have to. But really, this just comes down to people like her finding any and every excuse not to take accountability for the choices that they make in their life. I'm sorry, but if a guy picks me up in certain cars for a date, I'm just not going. Like, I'm just not going. Like. I'm sorry, but you can't tell me if someone pulls up in this. Hold on, put it on the screen. Hold on. This Prius, you're uh uh. No, I'd rather not go on the date. I'm sorry. I already know the type of person you are. Like I can tell by the car you drive what kind of person you're gonna be. Wait, I'll show you another. And this is for the boys too. If y'all drive these cars, you need to reevaluate yourself because. Anyways, let me show you another car. The only person that should drive this is my 90-year-old grandpa. That's the only person. Okay, hold on. One more. I've got one more. Be for real. Also, this picture makes me laugh. But, like, why did you get that? Let me give you some tea for those of you single women who really feel like you're missing out on something. Here you go. Give us the tea. And you wish you could go on date nights and have a man who treats you? Oh, she gonna tell it. Guess what? Those married women don't have that either. You would not believe how many women in relationships only go on dates because they're the one putting their cards down at the end of the date. Don't believe me? Go get you a little server job for a couple months and you'll see it. A lot of women are married to a man who won't even treat them to a chicken dinner. Poor.
you know, sometimes the best advice you can give is no advice at all, especially when you don't know what the hell you talking about. Any logical person who maybe has ever been in a functioning relationship or has been around people who have been in functioning, you know, well off relationships and everybody's relationship is different. Don't get me wrong. Well, understand that a lot of households, when you get into a committed relationship, whether that be a long term marriage or whatever it is, you end up having some sort of joint account. Now, that doesn't mean you, you don't have your own personal account still, but usually it makes sense for two people to get a joint account. That way you could, you know, put your funds maybe that's for, you know, the both of you in that account while still keeping money for yourself in a separate account. So maybe some of those funds that will go into a joint account would be like money for groceries, maybe money you use like to pay the rent, perhaps. And maybe, you know, money for when you go out to eat, you know, or entertainment, you know, miscellaneous money. Just, you know, when you go out, want to go out and have a good time. And if on an occasion or two, the man doesn't necessarily feel the need to whip out his car because he's comfortable in himself is his money being used anyway? Does it really matter whose card is being used if it's coming from the same account? But that would take actually thinking and understanding, logic. Something that she obviously chose to not participate in practicing. And probably the worst part is, and unfortunately for them, they're gonna have to learn the hard way, is that there are gonna be plenty of women who listen to this and they're gonna go, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking about, girl. I see it all the time. Can't expect women my age to really want you, huh? Cause at the end of the day, you gotta think. Number one, I don't want no woman your <laughs> it's not age. A, it's not about what but you. But I don't want them your age. All right, I'm just telling you. At the end of the day, um, like one thing women love about me is that I got tight sacks. You know what I'm saying? So they could do what they want Man, with the listen. sack. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you like, got they, tight sacks. They don't want them word, old, long word sacks. Through the, <laughs> word through the women channel. They're going to make it quickie. That's what they mean. Girl, look at quickie. You mother. Right, they want them long sacks hanging like a <laughs> hanging like a horse. Oh, they love a man who can hang like a horse. I'm telling you, my shit sit down there looking like a speed bag. I'm telling you, they, they be down there in Floyd Merriweather. They, they go, you done lost your motherfucking mind. Like a punching speed like a mother punching speed bag. They be down there. <laughs> That's how, and, and, and that sack be going. I don't know what the you talking about. She was a golden you know. glover. Man, shit, she went all the way to the Olympics. I'm telling you, she fought at the Olympics. And I was there with one leg up, just loving that shit. And you motherfucking kidding me? What you talking about? They don't want no motherfucking man walking around with a leather ass fanny pack for a sack motherfucker. You sitting out there, your shit all tight like a fanny pack, motherfucker. You don't launch your goddamn mind. Anyway, guys, as always, questions, comments, and feedback, drop them down below. Always appreciate you guys chiming in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more content. And you already know. Until next time.